welcome back everybody to Hot Cup of Tropics. I am so glad to be back and um, here we are back in the beautiful city <laughs> um, and yes it's so good to be back guys. I have been so busy um, lately um, moving house. I had to move house and I have been busy with university but now we are back in the city and um, we can continue with our freaking gorgeous projects. Look how beautiful it is oh my god uh, all of our districts our forestry district our original residences our um, different places over here we have central tropics right in the middle we have the garbage area we have um, uh, oh my goodness this city has just been growing we've got West Beach over here we've got um, East Beach over this side uh, hot, hot, hot cup of tropics farmland in the middle there the eco-friendly district over here we have gas land and we have uh, luxury island which we will be working on hopefully a little bit today we need to get this place looking luxurious we need to finish off our plan of, of, of our us having a luxury island but um, it is asking us to expand the city so um, we need to work on that now and I was thinking about putting a district over this side and um, yeah um, we also have green cities so um, <laughs> there's so many things we're going to be able to do now. And oh, look at this. Hot Cup of Tower. Beautiful. Oh, I missed this game. So in the last episode, we made um, Hot Cup of Tropics, uh, the Hot Cup of Tropics hill sign over here. Oh, it looks gorgeous. Look at that. So as you're coming into the city on this highway over here, you cross the bridge and you can see the Hot Cup of Districts area over here. Um, I'm not sure if we named this yet. I don't think we did. This is going to be its own particular district. Let's see what, what the names of our districts are. Um, we have all of our districts over here, don't we? We've got West Beach, East Beach, Central Tropics, Hot Cup of Farmlands, Hot Cup of Residences, Gasland, and the, the Eco-Friendly District, and Luxury Island. So that's all looking good. So it looks like we, we don't have a, dema a demand for um, residential, but we do have a demand for commercial and industrial so what we could do over this side is we could start building a little uh, commercial area so let's grab uh, grab some of our stuff here uh, we currently have decorative trees and uh, what type of road is this that's only a four lane four lane road um, <clears throat> so what we're gonna need to do is we come into this area here and then we're gonna have a huge we need a, a huge roundabout yes let's make a customized one we're gonna have um, one of the six lane roads no, let's go for an eight lane road eight lane road there we're gonna have oh my goodness this is gonna be awesome guys we're gonna have um, an epic giant roundabout so here we've got this this is our second biggest roundabout so far so let's go let's go over here uh, and actually we need it to be one way we do need it to be one way so it needs to be six six lanes because I don't think you can have eight lane one way that's crazy how do they have um, eight lane roads but they don't have one way eight, uh, eight lane roads that's that's kind of annoying but I suppose no six lane six lane uh, one way is is the equivalent isn't it no of course it's two lanes more because um, on an eight lane road you have one going you have four going one way and four going another way whereas this is six going in one direction so that of course is um, more so let's uh, do a typical curve and where are we gonna have this roundabout actually we need to think about this um, so yeah I have a new microphone uh, the blue Yeti um, so let me know if you have any feedback about uh, whether the sound sounds uh, slightly better than last time and um, god it's an epic microphone I'm so glad uh, so glad I invested in this uh, hmm. Yeah. Right. Let's get let's get this coming off. Um, I was thinking we could do it right at the start of this island. Um. Hmm. Yeah. We're going to throw caution to the wind, and we're just going to build one right here because I think this is quite a good area to have it. So let's go for. Is this going to be? How big is this going to be exactly? Let's have it. That was 14 out. Let's actually have it 17 out. Um, 17 that way. And then again, once again, 17 out. It's not 17. There we go. Uh, and then have that curving round to around there. <laughs> oh my God, this is going to be like one of the biggest. This is going to be, yeah, the biggest junction of the city so far. 
And as our city is expanding now, it does make sense. Our population is um, 24,000, so we're doing well. And we have plus 3, plus 17. We have a, a steady amount of people coming in. We also have a steady amount of cash. Let's see, 17 there. And if I, if my mathematics is correct, this should be should be a perfect circle there. Bang. Oh, oh look at that. That is a, such a sweet roundabout. So um, it's bigger than all of the rest of the ones we've, we have so far. Um, <clears throat> So that should be oh that's that's that looks sweet so, so far. So um <laughs> oh I'm so excited about this city guys. I'm so happy to be playing City Skylines again. We're back and we can continue the series. Um I have had very busy period moving house and everything, but now that everything has settled down, I'm back to making videos and also going to be um I want to be making a, a Minecraft series on this channel, so we'll look out for that. I'll actually make a proper one. Uh here is the luxury island. Um we will put some. We'll put an area coming off of here first. Then we will go back to Luxury Island and start building it because we have green city. So look, we have all these new options. We have like eco power, um, eco water outlet. We have an eco water treatment plant. <clears throat> so this nasty pollution, which we are, which we are. Look, this is disgusting. This is supposed to be Luxury Island, and it's not very luxurious because it's. They go down to the beach and people are coming out with like all sorts of diseases. They're coming out mutated and looking like aliens. So um, we need to avoid that at all costs. If we don't watch it, it will be coming all the way along this beach eventually. Because look, it's still just blue water on the edge. But this pollution is spreading too far. So it's going to wrap all the way around here. It's going to look horrible. We need to save them. Save them from that. So we'll get rid of these and replace them with the eco-friendly ones. Um, but first, let's start. Let's continue to do this. And um, what type of road should we have coming off? Well, let's get the, let's go straight into the eight-lane roads because um, this is going to be a heavy, heavy district, a heavy side of the city polluted. Right over here, we have some natural resources. Um, we don't, we we cannot be uh, building into them. Let's see, let's see. Where's the natural resources tab? Um, because we do not want to be. Oh, oh, it's up here. Yeah, yeah. This is fertile land, so this we can make. <clears throat> I think we can make farming out of this. Yes, farming. And then also we have an oil section over here and ore over this side and plenty of trees. So this all around here could be a industrial area. So that leaves uh, this side of the city um, all around here to be a um, yeah res heavily res residential uh, area. So then over here could be a commercial area. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Let's let's do that. Um, Let's make a beachside commercial uh, commercial area. Yeah, yeah, that sounds cool. We can have the beach. We can have it wrapping around here. Okay, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to have industry in the middle. We will have like a. We'll actually have a residential and commercial area going all the way around this beach. Um, hmm. Yes, we will do that. Or should we have the commercial over this side? Um, now let's have a beachside commercial area. That will look that will look pretty sweet. So um, we have these eight-lane roads. Let's yeah, let's build these off. Um, let's just have one going straight along to the beach. Uh, let's have it bending around to about there. Nice. We we'll go for the typical curvy roads, uh, hot carpet tropic style. And then we're going to have this basically going all the way along the beach side here. We can even add some extra kind of um, off-road strips like we added before where we, you can put zones down still. So that will be similar to this side of the beach where we have these kind of... These kind of uh, we've got roads there, but then we have these pavementy kind of roads over here. And that looks way sweeter for like the beach, beach side area. It looks more seasidey town touristy attraction type style um <clears throat> so yeah uh now let's get this uh, this new type of commercial in um we have right let's let's look for it we have new types of districts uh well new types of specializations rather commercial specializations whereas before you could only put ordinary commercial in where is it it's there now you can put this organic and local produce specialization so this will this will change the normal commercial areas the normal shopping uh, areas to consist of buildings like organic produce shops 
electric car charging stations and uh, organic goods um, and 50% of the goods will be sold locally so that will decrease truck uh, traffic in the area which is good because we're already having quite uh, congestion problems and our city isn't even a heavy population yet like it's sort of medium heavy population but uh, the traffic is looking not too bad, but soon uh, we will be having more traffic problems. I think the heavy, the most heavy traffic is around here in the, uh, yeah, look at this, in the industrial district. So we need to, we need to be planning for that for the future. So we'll grab some of this local on produce. And uh, as there is a demand for um, commercial, uh, we will start building it along here. So how do we, how do we do that? Oh, that's, uh, that's. Okay, so let's pause the game first, then put our zones down. We'll go for high density commercial. Uh, let's just have that running. All, yeah, let's have that running all the way along the beach. Bang, 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 bang. And we're going to have... This is going to be, yeah, known as the... Like, beach commercial strip. Uh, oh, let's have that there. Nice. Um... In fact, what should we call this side? Because this is this is its own area. As you can see, our map consists of different islands, and each island we we should name. Now, this center island, all in all, um, this is the city of Hot Cup of Tropics, and um, as as you can see over here, um, <laughs> this is kind of the Hollywood the Hollywood area where all the rich people are going to live. We still need to work on this distri district as well, and over the next few episodes, we'll be working on this district, Luxury Island, and this new area. Um, so that's sweet. That sounds like a plan to me. Uh, okay, let's get that uh, specialized thing and let's create that. So this is a district. So how do I how do I do this? How do I do this again? I need to remind myself how to do the districts. Um, commercial specialization. Oh yeah, I need to put the districts in first, don't I? Yes. Um, so let's get uh, let's paint a district. Okay, so this new area will be a specific district. Um, we only can go as far as there. And uh, let's paint that round. It's going to be like that. And uh, we won't interfere that with the oil district. Nice. Um, and then uh, we can now we can now designate that. Can we? Let's designate that to commercial specializations. Nice. There we go, Summit Hills. <laughs> um, it's not going to be Summit Hills. It's going to be. Well, let's see what it, what things pop up, and let's let's name it the, after the way it looks. So, let's fast forward this now into super speed, and um, let's see things grow. <clears throat> Holy crumbs! They don't have power. <laughs> I completely. I haven't played this game for so long. I completely forgot to connect them up with power. But luckily, we have some power very close by. So let's just give them some power lines from here to there nice and then there, there we go they should be now be connected are they connected to the grid yes they're connected to the grid how much power do we have we have enough looks like our water supply ah that needs to be looked at we're running low um and is this all piped up this is all piped up i have pre-piped this island so uh, <laughs> so yeah um let's see what type of shops now are popping up oh wow look at this the burned bean um Organic tea and coffee. Oh, that is that is awesome. That is so cool. Look at that. Look at the model of that building. It's epic. So they've given us apparently, I think there's like 100 new models, hundreds of new models of shops and stuff. So what's this? Healthy weeds. This is an eco market where you can come and get, you know, um, organic, healthy uh, supermarket goods. Um, you can see the ship sailing across in the background. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, looks like we've got some traffic coming along here now. Um, <clears throat> discount sales. Eco Stell the hostel. Oh man, look at that! I'd love to stay in that um, that hostel. That's like that must be the nicest hostel I've ever seen. <laughs> um, it's so cool. So I wonder where do you where you like? Well, don't worry about it. <laughs> I was gonna say I wonder where you sleep, but clearly inside the place is where you sleep. Um, containers to go. Oh man, that's cool. So yeah, this area is starting to come along. Um, what's this one over here? Organic dry goods. A public supermarket. Green market. Nice. So, um, the power should have them auto-connected. Let's see. The, yeah, the water is definitely connected to there. It's garbage. It's garbage. Yeah, they're connected up with the garbage, which is over here. <coughs> How is our garbage situation doing, actually? 
our land field is 46% full, 19% full, 63% full. So um, that's looking pretty cool. Um, incineration plant. Yep. We still have these turned off so we can turn them on if we need extra garbage at some point. But looks like this have has uh, loads of reserves. So our garbage situation is looking good. What about over here? Um... 64% full, 6% full, and also our death care. We have space in that one, space in this one, and space in that one. Plus, we have two crematoriums. Uh, actually, no, I think we have more crematoriums on this island. We have some over here. So we're covered for death care. Um, where are our... We had some other ones somewhere, somewhere around the city. Uh, let's see, we've got some over there and some down here. That's cool. Uh, and we have another one over here in Luxury Island. So, um, yeah, now we need to wait for the residential demand to go up to populate this Luxury Island with residents. But um, uh, everyone seems to have services. Ah, we need to get this area over here some services. So, let's get some... Hmm, where are we going to have the services on this road? Let's put them right in the middle over here. So let's give them everything they need. We should build the industrial area. Oh, what's this new building over here? Yoga garden. That's so cool. I swear we didn't have a yoga garden before. Um, let's put that in here. Let's put that. that that's a type of... Uh, what is that? That is a type of... That's actually a type of health. No way. Wow. Beautiful garden practicing yoga. Coming for a walk. Gives a small health benefit to the area around the building. Oh, that is sweet. So all the people at the health food stores can come and practice yoga. Bang, there we go. Look at them in there, all practicing yoga. <laughs> wow, they're so healthy. Um, let's get one, uh, another building. Where is it? Um, so that was healthcare. So that, that seems to be... so. Okay, so that's the healthcare for this area now. We don't even have to put a hospital or anything like that in. We'll see how that goes and see if that does the trick. Um, is there death care for this area? Well... There is, but it, none of it reaches this area. So let's get one of these crematoriums. Let's just get one. We'll pop one in here. Oh wait, is there an eco? So that's the yoga garden. That's the that's the eco-friendly healthcare. Is there an eco-friendly death care? Oh wow, look, there's a community pool as well. That's awesome. So there doesn't seem to be a a um, eco-friendly death care. So we will, yeah, we will just have to. What, what what's over here? Medical laboratory. Um, oh, this stores deceased people. Yeah, we won't look into that now. That looks a bit too complicated and sort of uh, expensive. So we'll go for, yeah, let's go for a crematorium. Let's put that over, let's put that all the way over this side so that it reaches a maximum amount of space. Um, let's have that just kind of like, we want it covering all the way up to there. So yeah, let's have that about there. And then, uh, what else do we need around this area? Parks, let's give them some parks. Because um, this so far does not have any residential in, but we will be putting residential around in this area eventually. So, you know, let's... Uh, vertical farms. Oh, we can put some more of those sweet farms over here. Aha, we've got them over this side and they look so cool. Um, look at that. Doesn't that just look awesome? So let's actually have a few more of those over here, seeing as this is a kind of eco-friendly district. Um, let's just have one here, bang, and one here. Nice. Um, that will operate to... I don't, I'm not too sure what that does. I think it's a type of farm. Oh, it's a park, parks and plaza. Yes, it's a type of park. So this is like their version of parks. Here, um, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, do they need uh, fire safety? Yes, they do. So, do we have any new types of fire safety? Probably not. Disconnected power grids. Ooh. Um, where is that then? Oh, that seems to all be connected. Um, ah, we have those guys that aren't connected. Um, so let's temporarily connect these people oh, let's pause the game because we're losing money and we can't have people disconnected from the city this is this is preposterous um, <laughs> right let's oh and we can give them their own little electricity thing actually over here um, why not let's pop 
pop that there. Does that need water to function? I don't think it does. So if we pop that in... Uh, let's see, it's supposed to give you a maximum of 20 megawatts, so that would be... That wouldn't be very efficient using it there. Um, hmm. So we can give them windmill instead, because up here it's very high up, so we can get like a lot of wind power. So let's put a windmill right on the top over here. Um, let's have some like there. There we go. And then we'll connect that to there. Nice. We'll connect this to there. And we'll get rid of the power lines eventually. We'll just put them there temporarily. Okay, let's have that play. Let's see if that gives us a little bit of extra income. Right, let's see if we needed any more of these. Intelligence agency. Oh, that looks awesome. We have to put one of those in our city at some point. We have a police station and we have head police headquarters. So we'll get a police station in here next to the crematorium. Nice. And uh, then uh, we will start building this side. We have... Yeah, we have these these areas in the middle of this island, which are clearly going to become industry. We've got the oil industry over here. We have the farming uh, area here. We need to wrap these in roads. <clears throat> Should we have tree roads? The tree roads will probably get polluted. Oh, no, wait. The tree roads in the farm industry might look nice, actually. So we'll have like six lane laned roads. Uh, we'll just have natural ones. And we'll have it co like covering the whole of this district. Um, like this and we'll literally wrap it around the district so we can we know what space we can use and we can use all of the outside space because um, this will soon become a farming district another farming district we don't really need one well actually there is a massive demand for industry right now um, which is quite interesting because it seems like we do have a lot of industry already in our city um, Right, let's keep that coming all the way around. We want to utilise this space to the maximum and get the most natural resources out of the ground because this is an industrial empire. We need to um, make the absolute most of all resources available to us um, so that we can milk it for all of the money. We don't really care about people's well-being. Um, <laughs> I, <wonder, laughs> I wonder if this city is... Um, if people are really happy in this city because it looks like quite a sweet city actually i mean i'll be happy to live here like all the way along the coast there's all these awesome different types of buildings we've got these fantastic sports strips and parks oh my god um look at we, what we made so far we made these awesome uh this is a seafront walkway we have uh this beautiful marina we have these sports parks oh look how busy they are there's people coming in to play basketball. Who brings that? Why are they bringing their dogs in? Dogs should not be playing basketball. Um, that's kind of worrying. <laughs> and there's no one at the football pitch. That's even more worrying. <laughs> we have we seem to have a concrete explosion coming in, into the pitch, which doesn't look good. Um, yeah, I'm just going to ignore that. We're just going to ignore that for now. That, let's pretend that's not happening. Do we still have that weird uh, entrance to the underworld around here? <laughs> there was like a weird gap. I think it's gone now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, where we could see a gap in the in the ground, and you could see right underneath it into the into the weird uh, pitch black abyss, which is underneath our world apparently. So our world looks beautiful and dandy, but underneath there's a pitch black abyss that people um, can fall into. Um, so this district is starting to take, uh, or this side of the island is starting to take shape. Now let's keep wrapping this over here. Finish this off quickly. Uh, we'll have a road going right through through the middle of them there oh. um so we can't we can't use that bit yet i wonder how much we've got so so far we're on this we, when we get to thirty-four thousand, we unlock one more tile then we will get another one at forty-eight thousand. okay so we get a tile every time yeah until there but it might take us a while to get there and how many tiles do we currently have <clears throat> one two three four five we have got five and we can I think we can buy like one more, maybe two more. So we need to be logical about which ones we take. And um, we could take that bit there to expand the island in that direction. Yeah. Um, let's purchase. Yeah, let's purchase this side. Um, yeah, let's do it. We're going to purchase that side. So bang. There we have this side of the, of the island as well now. 
and uh, we can continue these rows going all the way around. Oh, uh, so this whole area is going to be farming district. Nice, look how gorgeous and sort of natural these roads look, and they fit into the landscape well. And um, oh, look at that, that's going to be the farm district. It actually looks so cool. Just the roads, just the roads on their own look cool. <laughs> I don't need anything else. The roads, the roads are good enough. Um, and we're going to need a connection from this roundabout to there. Let's make it a nice uh, big eight lane road connection. Uh, so let's. So we've got one road going off that way. Let's just have a road coming right off this way. Okay, well for now we're just going to have a road linking straight to there and we'll see if the traffic gets uh, bad later we can uh, we can we can edit that a little bit um, we maybe we'll put a roundabout here right in the middle of this one to kind of break up the traffic a little bit um, and we will also need to put some connections Ah, oh, we can put some connections going in over to here to this highway that's pretty cool so we will look at can we unlock the next tile no we can't unlock the next tile yet we need to get to 34,000 population as quickly as possible and then we can unlock this top tile and why are we losing 120 people a day um, what's going wrong in our city seems like everything's fine but uh, we will need to look at I'll have a little look at the city and figure out what our main problems are and then uh, we'll look at getting some more residents in well we have residential demand now so we'll definitely look at that um, and in the next episode we will plan we will continue expanding this island and this will grow into a freaking beautiful luxurious area and it's all going to be green this whole side is going to be green so um well except from this oil district over here which will literally destroy the area the surrounding areas but once we have sucked the oil out of the ground we will eventually uh, get rid of that district and it will be taken over we can use this cove as a beautiful beach cove and we can make um once we've sucked all the oil out of the lands we can make this into a beautiful kind of we will regenerate the land and make it into a beautiful holiday destination for everyone. So yeah, thanks very much for watching everybody this episode. This has just been a quick catch up episode to get going again. And um, in the next few upcoming episodes, we will really get into the <clears throat> nitty grittiness, uh, nitty gritty of it and of uh, all the details of the city. So I will just play a little bit off camera to figure out what the main things about this city are that we need to do. And then we will continue on. But so far, uh, look at this beautiful city. Um, it's coming on it's coming on nicely um, <laughs> so yeah thanks everyone for watching good to be back again and uh, we will see you in the next episode